listening to and looking at All right, let's do this. This very rough around the edges 1974 Volkswagen Beetle. Here we are moving along. It's hard to envision that a mere 3 years later, a group of students at the University of Kansas School of Engineering would have this. The KU EcoHawks, a group of engineering students taught by assistant professor of mechanical engineering Chris Depsick and focused on developing sustainable approaches to energy infrastructure in the automobile, converted the Beetle to a plug-in series hybrid that can be recharged using a generator running on 100% used cooking oil biodiesel or from a solar energy filling station. The battery cables actually say University of Kansas EcoHawks. The sleek, street legal, eco-friendly Beetle reached a milestone in the spring of 2012. We actually went out for the first time and did a elongated combined cycle, a lot of highway usage, a lot of urban, went down Mass Street, went out on K10. Um, the vehicle actually hit 70 miles per hour on the highway. Um, and we hit uh, right over 100 mile per gallon equivalent. This version is a far cry from the non-functioning heap of gray steel donated to the group in 2008, but the EcoHawks have stayed true to their vision with each senior class making improvements from the previous year. By learning here with the fundamentals and a very basic project, this allows us to build our skill set and our knowledge of it and then apply it moving forward. A system of data collectors inside the vehicle gathers information about speed, battery usage, and fuel efficiency as the Beetle cruises Lawrence streets. I'm pretty sure we broke 70 back there too. The EcoHawk's next goal is to convert a GMC Jimmy into a fully functioning electric vehicle with more of the typical amenities found in a car. But it's expected the VW will remain a vital part of the program. The Beetle was never really built with a purpose of having an end use. It was always built as, oh, we can just keep learning on it, keep pushing it. Not a bad little ride. 